front of a sellout crowd at Dodger Stadium. Two to nothing, L.A. leads to the ninth inning, and Blake Trinan, John, looks for the save. He looks for the save, and the San Diego Padres are looking to try and stay off of his breaking ball because that has been deadly all year. Only 10 hits off that pitch, which is really only a 122 average. It's easier said than done because he's got tremendous sink on his fastball, and then he breaks it away from you just when you think you, you're getting on his fastball. A pinch hitter sent up to start this inning. Donovan Solano pinch hitting for Kyle Higashioka. Then the top of the order and a rise in Tatis. Here we go. Slider for a strike. Defensive changes. Max Muncy's taken over for Freddie Freeman at first. Kike Hernandez comes from center into third base. And the rookie Pajes is now in center field. Now to no one pitch. Solano hits it in the ground, testing Hernandez at his new position. Over to another guy who's moved. And they connect for the first out of the nine. Ball always finds you. Man. It's amazing, right? I mean, not an easy play, not routine. Especially when you've been in the outfield looking at five balls and line drives. Now you get a grounder. Made it look easy. 19 straight retired by Dodger pitching. Strike one on Luis Arise, trying to set the table for Tatis. Scoreless inning streak for the Padres has reached 23 innings since their six run second that gave them command in game three and command in this series. One ball, one strike. Five innings from Yamamoto tonight, way more than the Dodgers are probably envisioning. Phillips, Fessia, Kopech, three perfect innings for the pen. Oh, yeah. Two and one on a rise. And amazingly, unless I've done something wrong, they've gotten a the leadoff hitter out every single inning. Only three base runners total in this game. Two singles in the third and a walk in the second. That's it for the Padres. The 2 2 from Blake Trinan. Almost hit him. Count goes full. Hamstring might have cramped up on him a little bit there. Almost did the splits. Mm. National League batting champ arrives. One for three in tonight's game. On a 3-2 from Trinan. Hits it in the air to right field, but playable for Mookie Betts. And the Padres are down to their last out. Dave Roberts and the Dodgers were staring down a third consecutive division series defeat. It was to be a fourth consecutive postseason defeat. They were hoping they were more ready to respond this time. And since their season reached the knife's edge in game three, They've outscored the Padres with all that history hanging over them. Ten to nothing. Tatis the last hope for the Padres. Ground ball to third. Picked by Hernandez. The Dodgers punch back and head to the championship series.
They retired the final 19 Padres in game five. They finished the series with 24 consecutive scoreless innings. And with a shutout in game five, the solo home runs from Kike Hernandez and Teoscar Hernandez, plenty for the Dodgers to get the revenge over the Padres. Yeah, it was the Kike show, really. His home run and two defensive plays in the ninth. They were not routine. A little short hopper down the line that easily could have rolled up his glove. He makes the pick and then the throw to Max Muncie and the realization that they get to stay here and the Mets are the next they get to play. And how about a Los Angeles, New York, New National League Championship Series, a rematch of the 1988 Championship Series. Shohei Otani's dream season continues. His first trip to the postseason continues.